smooth man here again and I just had to come on this real quick time because I kind of found out that somebody I, I, I was with uh, since from childhood since I was young just found out that his girl was cheating on him little dude I grew up with you know from from back in the hood back in the neighborhood and you know there was a couple you know I'm not going to say no names, but, you know, they know who they are. And my man's just found out that this girl was cheating on him. And for some strange reason, that's been dawning on me all morning long. Why was she cheat? I mean, they looked to be like they was the perfect couple to me. Like, if it was any couple that was going to make it, I would have put it towards them to make it, you know. I mean, but... Evidently, that wasn't the case, because that ain't what happened. So, I mean, you know, I'm just found out today. He called me and pretty much put it to me about what happened. So, I'm just making this video pretty much because it's on my mind. Something that's just dawned on me. And, you know, the thing is, you know, they've been going on. He's been faithful to her, and she's been faithful to him for what... I can understand since been forever. They've been together like, God, like 15 years since since middle school they was together. You know, like middle school. And that's why I say in, in, in Detroit, it's so small. You never know who knows who. You just you just never know. And, you know, Facebook is known for, for catching people up. So if there's people cheating and you want Facebook, you, you should be careful because Facebook is just known for catching catching people up. You know, that's, that's just how I go. But at his job, apparently his best friend at his job is old boy's best friend that his girl cheat on him with. Yeah, so at the job, they sitting there talking, you know, hanging out, because they're like best friends, this is like, this dude is like the best friend of the dude that's cheating on the girl and the dude himself, so he hanging out with my boy, you know, doing a, you know how guys is at the gym, you know, they gonna talk and converse and everything, and they at the gym, and he's talking to him about his boy. And it's just the way this went down. It just went down like it would in the movies. You can make a movie off of this. And, you know, they, they, they doing these little biceps and, you know, the, the, the curls and, you know, the crunches and whatever it is they do. And the man looks over to him. Was, you know, he even knew the dude's name. That's how much, you know, they talk about his boy that much. And he looked over there and said, you know, what's, what's his name? Is You know, he, he messing around with a married girl. You know, and I ain't with that. Dude's like, what? For real? And they get to conversing and come to find out the dude that his boy is messing with is old boy's girlfriend. That's crazy, ain't it? I mean, how does that happen? How do you find out your girl cheating on you at the gym working out with the dude's best friend of the dude just cheating, just sleeping with your girl. I mean, how does that even happen? I mean, you, you I wouldn't think that that was even possible. But uh, apparently it is. Apparently that type of thing happens. You know what I'm saying? They get into detail and come to find out that it's his girl cheating. And But good for her is when he got home and confronted her about it, she didn't get all stupid and make nasty and start lying. She came right out with it and was clear that, yeah, you know. So he hit me up this morning on that note. You know, it, it didn't just happen, but I just found out about it because I thought they was together forever. But I'm just wondering, why do women cheat? Why do men cheat? Why do people cheat? She says she love him to death and she trying to work it out with him and everything like this. But my thing is, why cheat in the first place? If you got somebody that, that you love and you just taking care of you, why cheat? And I can't say everybody cheat because, you know, smooth, man. I, I've I've seen some, some, some women that has been very loyal to their girls and 
I mean, to their men. And, you know, faithful. You know, dudes might be trying to talk to them or something. Might be trying to speak game. But, you know, they'll be like, you know, I got a man. I'm not available. And, and I also, I can understand why women. So, guys, I can understand why women give dudes numbers. And it be wrong numbers and stuff. So, guys, you got to kind of get off that dude, that note. Because if you find your girl with a number, because she gave a dude a wrong number. Because dudes is crazy. Dudes is, is straight crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, on the east side, they snatching chicks up. You know, they snatching them up like they going to a fast food restaurant. You know? Like they picking up a burger or something. That's how they snatching these chicks up. So you can't be really mad at chicks for passing out wrong numbers and, you know, just trying to be sad. You know, I, 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 if, if it was my girl... You know, and my girl said, well, you know, dude tried to holler at me. I would rather her give him a wrong number than him feeling like she turning him down and insulting him and whatever. And he feel like he got to react because he's just a dumb thug, you know. But on a sad note, kind of sad track. But if if you caring about somebody, I mean, why, why would you do it? I, I know a guy that his girl takes awesome care and, and they got a baby together and his girl takes awesome care of him cook clean she do everything she supposed to do um iron his clothes she even makes this dude his lunch for work and oh boy cheating on her every thursday friday day he going out to the club clubbing and hoo hawing and Drinking and meeting chicks and, you know, I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. Now, just hearing this whole thing about my man just, just got me messed up. If you got something good at home, keep it. I mean, if, if it ain't working out good at the moment, work on it. Talk to each other. You know, try to try to make things work. Because there ain't nothing out here. You know, don't don't think that, you know... Because you might have got a number or two or because you got a flirting on or something. Like it's a whole gang of things going because there's nothing out here. There ain't no good women out here to date. And there ain't no good men. You know, I consider myself a, 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 a good man, a good catch. But what I might consider myself to be a good catch or a good man, another woman may not. You know, she may... Feel as in comparison that, you know, I, that things I do or something about me is not of her liking or vice versa. I may feel the same about another woman. I mean, the, the dating game has just changed. And my, and my thing is, don't be all curious and thinking that you know, you can always do better because there ain't nothing out here, peoples. Stay where you is, especially if you love the man, if y'all got kids or whatever. Try to make it work because hearing this about my bro and um, my mans and now they breaking up. They've been together since forever. Forever. And she cheated on this dude? For what? Why, why, why? For what? She cheating on a guy for what? For what? For nothing. And now, now, they, now they breaking up. They got kids and stuff. Now the kids got to go through all this. And he, he don't even trust her. And I don't blame him. You know, you don't want her back because you don't trust her. I can't blame her. So I, I, I know I'm just, just babbling. It's just I, it's just something just blowing my mind. I just can't understand this whole thing. You know, I, I, I think that, you know, if you with somebody, work it out. Try to make the relationship work. We coming up on Valentine's and, you know, it's a lot of people out here that's, that's trust me. That's single and trying to make things, trying to meet people and, you know, the people that they meet is, you know, is either crazy or crazy or, oh yeah, crazy, you know, it ain't, it ain't too many choices out here, you know, and my thing is, even with girls, you know, you, you, girls, now I got this thing going on, I don't know, where, you know, even if they are three, you know, they, they carry themselves like a 10, you know, and they had this attitude, you know, I don't, I don't know why that's the case, but 
girls seem to be having attitudes. Nah, I, I guess maybe because my man is snatching all these women up on the east side or something and chopping them up. Maybe that got something to do with it. I, I don't know. I'm not like a, a you know, I, I've got no answer for it. But I, I know dudes is crazy. I, I do know that dudes is crazy and dudes is a motherfucker. So that might be the reason for all the crazy shit because niggas is crazy as hell too. But my thing, man, if you got something at home and it work or it might work a little bit, I say stick with it. You know, try to make try to make that work out for y'all. You know, and I, and I gotta give props to those people that is together and is making it work and is you know doing their thing. You know, gotta give props to them. You know, cause like I say, it, it, it ain't nothing out here. There's people out here that's been single and I won't say lonely because just because you're single don't mean you're lonely. And just because you ain't with nobody don't mean you're lonely. It just means you're single. And there's people out here that's single for some years. And I'm not a, a believer. I don't think every female is bad and that there ain't no females out there. I just, I just think the odds is not in your favor when it comes to getting a good woman or a good man, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, so if you with somebody, you love that person, and y'all might have, might be bumpy or rocky every now and then, smooth man say, work it out, you know, that's smooth man thoughts, and, you know, my prayers go out to Mike, you know, and his girl, sorry to hear that, bro, and the kids, you know, Kids got to go through all that. So, you know, that's just been on my mind. You know, just ranting about some stuff. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to keep ranting. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, call my mans up. You know, maybe we go out because I know he hurting. But what is the odds that the dude, your girl, is cheating on? The guy that you work with at work is his best friend. And your friend, too. And why y'all at the gym? You find out about him by talking to his boy. I, I, I can't even explain it. It, it. it don't even make sense when I'm ex- trying to explain it. But it's, it's a small world out there. You never know who is what or who is who. Okay? Okay, let me try to explain it one more time. The My boy at his job got a dude he considered his friend. You know, they they, 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 they real cool. And the dude that's cool, he got a boy that he lived with all his life outside of work. Now, his boy that he lived with outside of work is the one that's sleeping with my man's girl. So, while they at the gym, I guess every now and then he talked to my man's about his boy and what his boy doing or whatnot. Because my man somehow knew the dude by name. So, while he at the gym and he telling him about his boy boy and that his boy is sleeping with a a, a, a a married chick or a chick who is in a relationship whatnot they get to talking and in depth talking he comes to find out that the dude that his boy is sleeping with is actually his girl the dude get to find out the boy that his boy is sleeping with is his girl and he finds this out at the gym Doing squats and shit. I mean, what the fuck is that? How did that? How does that kind of thing happen? Small world. How does that happen? I don't even know. <sighs> but to y'all, this cheating. Be careful. Small world. Small world. You never know, man. You can get caught up all kind of ways. But it's your boy. It's smooth, man. Just babbling, talking shit, and I'm out, y'all. Some shit for your mind. Peace. And remember, ain't nothing out here. Stay with the one you love. I recommend it.